Since the debut of the first season back in 2018, the Yellowstone TV series from Paramount has seen enormous popularity. With a bang, season 4 debuted, more than doubling its previous season's viewership. We gathered some intriguing details regarding the TV show that you might not be aware of yet. Number 1. The show's casting led to controversy Casting is a real challenging process, with the importance of representation only growing. The legitimacy of an entire series could be damaged by selecting the wrong actor. Adam Beach, a Native American actor best known for his appearances in Wind Talkers, Flags of Our Fathers, and Suicide Squad, took to Instagram before the first season of Yellowstone premiered to express his disapproval of a particular casting choice. He wrote, Failure of Diversity. I'm advising my native performers to stay away from this project, over a photo of actress Kelsey Asbiel. Adam Beach was mostly responsible for the controversy that developed around Kelsey's choice to play Monica Dutton, a Native American character. Asbiel claimed to be of Native American descent, but the Eastern Band of the Cherokee Nation, the tribe she named, found no documents supporting this. Despite this, the actress is still playing the part right now, and the controversy, while undoubtedly real, seems to have subsided. Number 2. Originally, Yellowstone was going to be on HBO Before learning that HBO didn't want to produce the script, Taylor Sheridan had actually written two drafts of it. I sat with the senior vice president of HBO who told me that they weren't going to go forward with it, Taylor remembered. He responded, nobody wants to witness this, when I questioned why. Number 3. Think you have seen Gil Birmingham in something before? He was in Twilight. Thomas Rainwater is portrayed by Gil Birmingham in the show Yellowstone, but if he appears familiar to you, you might recognize him from a scene in the film Twilight. Yes, Billy Black was portrayed in the Twilight series by Gil Birmingham, Jacob's father. Gil used to be a bodybuilder, but after appearing in Diana Ross's 1982 Muscles music video, he started acting. Number 4. Actress Kelly Riley, who plays Beth Dutton, is a palm. Kelly was born and reared in Chessington, Surrey, England, which might surprise you. That's right, it's not her natural voice. She uses a fake American accent for her part in Yellowstone. Before acting in American films, she actually did a significant amount of work in English shows and films. Kelly's true voice may be heard in all of her press conferences and interviews. So yes, who would have guessed that Beth Dutton, the foul-mouthed character, has a sophisticated accent in real life? Just watch the original Sherlock Holmes film with Robert Downey Jr. if you want to hear Kelly Riley in all of her British splendor, because she plays Mary, Watson's wife. At age 26, Kelly was also the actress who received the youngest nomination ever for the Laurence Olivier Theatre Award for Best Actress. Number 5. The Dutton Ranch is a Real Working Ranch let me let you in on a little secret. One of the best television programs is Yellowstone. Here, there is no room for debate. It has a never-ending plotline, drama that seeps out of every crack, and Kevin Costner. Now, despite the fact that this should be plenty, it has one more thing going for it that we should point out. A breathtaking set location in the Montana wilderness that will make you exclaim, I want to be there from episode 1 onwards. And guess what, fans? You can now be. The Dutton family residence is more than simply a backdrop for a show. It is a genuine, thriving ranch with a fascinating past. The 150-acre ranch, which is now called the Chief Joseph Ranch, is located in the lovely Bitterroot Valley, not far from Darby, Montana. The location manager for Yellowstone first scouted the property and made a cold call to reserve it. Along with the main house, scenes were also filmed in the nearby woods at the armory, bunkhouse, corrals, barns, round pen, cabins, and barns. When not used for filming by the Yellowstone crew, the location serves as a cattle and lodging ranch. Visitors can reserve one of the opulent cabins owned by Lee Dutton or Rip and even bring in their own horse. Every reservation at the Chief Joseph Ranch comes with access to the filming locations and a tour of the ranch. Number 6. Many Yellowstone actors are real-life cowboys Several of the players in Yellowstone are real-life cowboys, which contributes to the show's genuine vibe. 4E J. Smith, for instance, was raised on a ranch in Montana and has been riding since he was 8 years old. Carla Curry, the set decorator, claims that he even contributed to the design of the Yellowstone bunkhouse. Other experienced cowboys in the series include Taylor Sheridan, Ryan Bingham, and Jake Ream, as Jake and Travis Wheatley. Jake Ream was given the task of planning cowboy camp after initially joining the cast as a wrangler. 
Bingham also contributes in the background by offering riding guidance and tips. However, it can be intimidating to ride a horse if you've never done it. Because of this, the other cast had to practice riding horses for weeks before the show. You would be mistaken if you believed that it was as simple as kicking your heels while seated in that large saddle. Any novice rider should use safe riding skills, especially those who must portray a familiarity with horses. For the show, many had to overcome their horse shyness. Funnily enough, Beth Dutton is the best writer while having the least to do so. Number 7. Creator Taylor Sheridan and Kevin Costner actually met before Taylor wrote Yellowstone. Sheridan is no stranger to successful writing. He wrote the screenplays for Sicario, Hell or High Water, and Wind River, and had been mulling over the idea of a ranching family in turmoil. With a slew of award nominations to his name, he set his sights on the Wild West for his next major project. And if you guessed that guy who was David Hale on Sons of Anarchy, well, then you're right. He was only thinking about the concept. Then he finished writing the pilot and emailed it right away to Kevin, who promptly agreed to star. I'd been a fan of Kevin's work my whole life, Taylor remarked. I was desperate to work with him, so I came up with the idea for the show, wrote the pilot, and gave it to him. Just getting the chance to sit down with someone you like was a huge honor. Number 8. The show is the first regular TV series role for Kevin Costner. Despite having an outstanding list of successful films under his belt, Kevin Costner has also starred in some duds. More performers are getting meatier material as the streaming wars heat up, allowing them to deliver spectacular performances without being constrained by the brief film. The fact that Costner is one of these actors experiencing new life as the lead on Yellowstone may surprise some viewers. This is actually his very first job on regular television. The actor has largely continued to gamble at the box office, but the aforementioned arms race in streaming has changed the fundamentals of what motivates Hollywood's creative output. Number 9. Yellowstone was originally supposed to be a limited series. Similar to the Hatfields and McCoys, Yellowstone was initially intended to be a 10-episode limited series. All of the series depends on Kevin Costner agreeing to do more than one season, so it's a good thing that he loves the program. Just 10 episodes of Beth Dutton, could you imagine? It begs the question though of where the show will go beyond 4 seasons. Sheridan obviously has a strategy, but no one is saying exactly how long the series might last. Executives at Paramount are hoping it's a long time. Number 10. Kevin Costner had a crazy season 1 salary Kevin Costner received $500,000 each episode for season 1. For a pilot series about an unknown family, that is a remarkable sum. When viewers dropped from 2.83 million for episode 1 to 1.89 million at the halfway point of the season, Paramount was undoubtedly a little concerned because they wanted to demonstrate that the network meant business for its significant outing. It's fantastic that they did as Yellowstone drew 14.7 million people for the season 4 premiere, and catch-up streaming has been tremendous. Despite making payments, Paramount is still making a ton of money. So it's possible that you already enjoy Yellowstone. The western drama has achieved enormous success, drawing millions of viewers when in season, making it the most viewed cable show several times over. And if you're not, what are you waiting for? The Kevin Costner-led series succeeds for a variety of reasons, but one of the biggest is the great cast. So I'll see you on the channel next time. Until then, it's goodbye.